Sanchez Man United shirt selfie, Arsenal in for Aubameyang, Chelsea striker search continues, Malcolm leaving Bordeaux but going where, and all the latest transfer and gossip news, all today on One Football Daily. I'm bringing sexy back, them other boys don't know how to act. Hey One Footballers, it's your brother from another mother here, Antoine Allen here to give you the biggest football stories of the day. Quickly, if you like this video, comment your thoughts and please click that little button to support our social media channels. But first up, the transfer and rumour report. Social media was filled with pictures of Alexis Sanchez taking this selfie wearing his new Manchester United kit after his medical at Old Trafford. For Arsenal fans, it was like seeing a picture of your ex with her new boyfriend kissing and saying, I love Bay." Oh, the pain. However, good news is Ivan Gazidis has been spotted in Dortmund as he attempts to finalise Arsenal's deal for the striker Aubameyang. The papers are also reporting that if Arsenal sign Aubameyang and Mkhitaryan, Orzo is more likely to sign a new contract, especially one with a huge new wage increase. Question, who do you think Arsenal need more, Orzo or Sanchez? Liverpool and Arsenal target Thomas Lamar reportedly prefers a move to Barcelona than joining any Premiership side. Bad news for Liverpool and also bad news for Arsenal. Chelsea target Arturo Vidal has said there is no chance of him leaving Bayern Munich in January. Question, do Chelsea need Vidal when they already have Kante? Chelsea have also made an approach for Leicester forward Slimani, along with Roman Mitz and they would sell Dzeko. With that said, Eden Hazard have come out and said Chelsea don't need a new striker. Question, do you agree with Eden? Do they need a new striker or don't they? Let us know in the comments. Bordeaux forward Malcolm shared a video of him on a plane to meet his agent. A 20 year old has said his dream is to play in the Premiership one day. The only question seems to be which team is he more likely to play for? Arsenal, Liverpool or Spurs? Manchester City are looking at Lille midfielder Bukhari Samer, an 18 year old who is described as the new Paul Pogba. I love how players can be the new version of someone that isn't even that old. Make sure you check out our video on the players that Man City need to sell. So with that all said, let's flop out those big balls. News over the weekend was Watford sacking Marco Silva and naming Javier Garcia as their new manager. Watford cited Everton's early season approach for Silva as the reason why both Watford's form dipped and they started looking for a new manager themselves. Question, which manager do you think will be the next to get sacked in the Premiership? Obviously, Sanchez sat out Arsenal's home game against Crystal Palace. However, it was left back Nacho Morel that proved to fans the most that there will be life after Sanchez. During Arsenal's 4-1 victory, he got two assists and a goal for himself, but he was subbed off due to an early injury. However, Wenger has said that it was a precautionary after he received a kick to his hamstring and he should be back for their Carabao Cup game against Chelsea. Key games at the weekend saw Man City and Real Madrid get back to winning ways. However, Spurs drew and PSG lost. Next up, the done deals. Done deals. As we already said, Sanchez was pictured in a Manchester United shirt, so that pretty much means that that deal is going to be done. But make sure you download our One Football app to get the breaking transfer news and all the football stories throughout the day. And finally, some social media banter. This sign at the Emirates lays the ground for the hostility Sanchez will face when he returns to play against Arsenal. Lyric of the day was from Justin Timberlake. Comment below if you remember the song and comment a lyric that you want me to read out tomorrow in our daily news show. Once again, I'd like to thank you for watching. I've been Antoine Allen. Make sure you share this video and answer some of the questions. Have a great day. Peace.